So Greeny is from Pennsylvania, and yes, we have another covered bridge there behind us. We're here in Dauphin County today, just north of the state capital of Harrisburg, and this is Hen Henninger's covered bridge. It's one of the referred to as Henninger's Farm covered bridge. There's a good look at it from here. You can see it is not open to vehicular traffic. The, the modern road currently goes over there. You see the modern bridge right there. But I'm also going to place, I got channel sticker number 78 here. We're going to place that somewhere. It's one of my newer stickers. So we'll find a place some here, somewhere here to stash that one. All right, let's just go up and take a look. Won't have to worry about uh, getting hit by a car in this one. Because the last couple ones I visited out in Bedford and Somerset County were pretty tame too, as far as traffic goes. But they do have some information for it here. This is the last covered bridge in Dolphin County standing in its original location. We'll talk about that in a moment. Constructed in about 1880. I saw a date about 1850 as well, so I find that to be quite common with these bridges. The dates are kind of a lot of discrepancy with the dates, but it was reconstructed in 2003 after a fire. The bridge has a burr arch truss as its structural support system. Like all covered bridges, it is roofed and sided to protect the decking and trusses from weather. In the early 1970s, Henninger was one of six covered bridges on the Wiccanisco Creek and one of nine in Dauphin County. The 1972 Agnes Flood destroyed all but three of the county bridges. All right. Yeah, Hurricane Agnes did a lot of damage to a lot of the covered bridges. All right, so we were told, they already told us what it is, Burr Arch Trust. Of course, this one has a slightly, has like a modified Burr Arch Trust. You see it has, there's the arch, but then it has that other one. It's not quite, an arch, if you know what I'm saying, kind of has the the pointed corners. I don't. Oh, I, I feel like we saw it before somewhere, but I can't think which bridge that was. So it's kind of like a double burr arch, but it has a bit of a one is one's a genuine arch, and then you have the the pointy one. But you see the the king post in the middle there too. Yeah, so this one was completely redone in 2003. Yeah, in 2000 there someone set it on fire It did heavy damage. I guess to the point where they just replaced the entire thing because all this wood looks new, nothing looks original. You're not sure why anybody would want to light a covered bridge on fire, but that's what happens. You know, I'm guessing there might have been some younger folks. I think we've all tried to do stupid stuff in our younger years just to, I don't know. But it's a shame that people have to do stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, anyway, I was just thinking back. I, I, I know I've done, I was talking about that with some of my students recently, how I know I had the cops show up at my door, oh, oh, show up at my door once. I was about 14 years old. I didn't, do, I didn't do anything super serious, but we were, me and some friends in the neighborhood, we were building a fort on someone else's property that we didn't have permission to be on, and the guy discovered our fort, and, uh, well, anyway, the end, that's that then. <laughs> But yeah, I, I didn't burn any covered bridges down in my youth. Like, but like I said, anyway. And there's that little plaque mention. This is the last standing bridge original to Dauphin County. We did visit another one in Dauphin County down in Fort Hunter. The Everhart covered bridge is that little tiny one. But that one is not from Dauphin County. Um, the lady that lived at that mansion there at Fort Hunter back in the early 1900s, she had bought that one. I think it was over in Perry County. They were gonna tear that one down, but she bought it. She had it dismantled and moved to the site at Fort Hunter. So there are two covered bridges in Dauphin County, but like I said, the Everhart covered bridge is not, I guess you could say native to Dauphin County. Its original location was over in Perry County. So this is indeed the last covered bridge in Dauphin County. And even this one is in some ways not original, it's completely rebuilt. So. Another look at it from this side. I think we'll try to get maybe over there somewhere to get like the good thumbnail shot of it. But let's go down below. This is the Wiccanisco Creek. I don't know. Can we get? We want to check out what's underneath. Uh, I don't know if this is the best location to go underneath. Uh, let me turn you off. I think I can get down there. Yeah. So this one doesn't have any steel beams underneath. There was no need to put them on because it's just a. It wasn't open to vehicular traffic, but. You got some fire sirens going off back there. But yeah. Oh yeah, it's about 72 feet long. I forgot to mention that too. 
All right, still looking for a place to put that channel sticker too. Gotta watch your step in here if you wanna step on the edge. Actually that, no, it's not, I was thinking maybe I could put the sticker down there, but I don't think that'll work. So this bridge has never actually seen any vehicular traffic at all because it's a rebuilt one. Although I must say the floor planks feel a lot more, uh, I wonder if these were original. These have a much older feel than, you can see the difference in the color between the floorboards and the rebuilt part. All right, let's go down here. This looks like a trail. Let's see if we can get a view of the bridge from down to creek. bridge and frame there. That's a cool shot. And I think I found a spot for the channel sticker too. There's an old stump right down there. So here's here's where you park. You kind of pull in here and park. And uh, of course here's the bridge. And there's a little trail that comes down here. Kind of brings you down to the creek area up here. And right here where the bank starts to go down there's an old rotted out stump right here. I think I'm going to stick the channel sticker down in here. I'm going to crumple it up too much. Down in there, and then we'll just cover it up with some leaves and debris and stuff. And that's where she is, number 68. I mean, 78. And as always, you know the deal. If you're the one that comes and gets channel sticker number 78, if you can go ahead and shoot me an email or a message on Facebook or something and let me know you found it. And also, if you could send me a picture, too, of yourself finding it. That way I can share it in a future video like I always try to do. All right, but I do like that shot from down here in the woods. Because right down there is that rotted tree stump. Let's, let's get some other shots. Let's go out uh, this way. Get some different views of this bridge. This one's nice to film at because, I mean, Naomi doesn't get to drive across this one. But it's real easy and relaxing to film. You don't have to worry about cars or anything. Here's a look at it from this angle. You know, I think I like the angle. Well, that's not, that's not a bad shot. I'm thinking I like the one in the trees better. We're down the creek, but this is not bad either. Just kind of had the modern bridge in the way here. If you angle over this way, yeah, that's not bad right there. But I'm glad they rebuilt this one. I know sometimes people wonder why spend the money and the time to rebuild this. It's not even being used anymore by vehicles, but you know, it's part of the history. You know, it, it, especially this one, because it's, it's the last one in Dauphin County, original to Dauphin County. And I think I mentioned this before, but I know I talked that with my students before. We were talking about, like, is it worth the time and money to preserve, you know, endangered animals? You know, what, you know, we think, what's, what's one bird or one salamander somewhere that gets extinct? But the problem is, if you get that attitude, one by one by one, they're all gone. Like I said, there's over 200 covered bridges in Pennsylvania, but... If one by one, we just kind of let them go, because hey, it's just a covered bridge. There's still, you know, there's 200 of them. Best time goes on, there's less and less, and all of a sudden there's hardly any. Everybody's like, where did they go? Where did they go? Well, it's because no one cared. And one by one, they, they disappear, you know? So I, I think it's important to preserve things like this. I feel like I said that in the previous video, but I'll say it again. But it's a beautiful spot here, too. I mean, they have a picnic table on this side. This side, I guess you could park up here. I know someone just, I, someone was just up here earlier, but I don't really think, I think they prefer you parked on the other side where it's all nice stony and gravel to park. And there's a picnic table over there too. Nice little spot. But yeah, beautiful little section of creek. Yeah, the, the, the coloring of the creek is a little off. That's because the Wiccanisco Creek drains some coal mining lands. I think a lot of that's that abandoned mine drainage water. That's why it's a little bit off color. So I doubt there's any fish living down in there. And there's Naomi back there. She might be pouting a little bit. She doesn't get to drive across this one. But yeah. Beautiful, just beautiful timber work. All right, but I think that'll be it for me today. Got a couple of places filmed today. We finished Dolphin County too. They've got the two covered bridges in Dolphin County. 
got we're, we're closing in on 50 covered bridges i forget which number this is maybe i'll put it down below but we're closing in on 50 covered bridges I, I, even when we hit 50 we're only a quarter of the way done so yeah still a lot more to, to do i know some of you like these covered bridge series these covered bridge videos and some of you probably don't as much but i'm i'm starting to enjoy it more and more it's kind of a goal of mine like i said to get to all of them and it's turning out to be quite turned out to be quite a task all right but uh, as always thanks for coming along and Hopefully we'll see you on the next one.